pretty sure everybody loves pizza for good reason. It's delicious. It's perfect. It's simple. It's bread, sauce, and cheese. One of the best combinations ever. Today we're going to make pizza dough and Thursday we're going to make pizza. You can always go to your local pizza shop and ask them to buy pizza dough straight from them. Probably costs anywhere from like three to five bucks and it's proofed, it's perfect, and then you can just go home and make pizza right away. That's what I normally do and it's less of a process. It's more of like a go-to. But today we're going to talk about dough and uh, since it's a bit of a process, we're just going to jump right into it. You need flour. I'm using bread flour. So I have three and a half cups of bread flour. I've got one package of dry active yeast, approximately two and a half tablespoons, a half a tablespoon of sugar, granulated sugar, and then a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna use a little bit of olive oil, like a tablespoon of olive oil in the dough. And here I have a cup and a half of warm water. I want it at 110 degrees. So I'm just gonna wait till that gets to 110. Basically, I'm just gonna put my salt into the flour and I wanna make sure I stir that up really well. Now it's important to make sure that the water is the right temperature because if it's too cool, you won't activate the yeast. And if it's too hot, you're gonna kill it. You wanna shoot anywhere between 105 and 110 degrees. I'm at 109, so we can add the dry active yeast. And the yeast needs something to feed off of and so that's why we add the sugar. And we just let that sit. It should also smell yeasty. So we're just creating a little well in the center, just like we would on the board. It's not necessary, but this is blooming. You can sort of see the pearls react and start to bubble. So I'm just gonna let this sit for about uh, five minutes. I'm gonna add everything into the bowl and start to bring the dough together. Just gonna put a tablespoon of olive oil. And I just want to make sure I get all of that in there. So I'm just going to rinse it really quick. Just a light kind of spritz around the rim just to get all that last bit out. And then we're just going to bring it together like we would in a stand mixer. At this point, a stand mixer would just knead it together until it comes to a ball. And that's essentially just what we're going to do here. So at this point, we want to take a little bit more flour. I want to work the dough until it stops sticking to my hands. Adding a little bit of flour, cleaning the board with the flour. I want to put it in a clean bowl. So I have this covered really tight, airtight. What I want this to do is sort of like ferment. So I want it in a, a pretty warm place. Time's gonna vary depending on the temperature outside and the kind of temperature in your kitchen in your house. So I'm just gonna go put this in the basement and um, check back later. When that's done fermenting, we're gonna take it out. We're gonna portion it into smaller portions of pizzas that we're gonna make. We're going to coat them a little bit with olive oil, cover them again, and let them proof for about another hour. Or if you plan on making it the next day, you can wrap them and then throw them in the refrigerator. And then just before you're gonna make it, let them sit out for a few hours, come back to room temperature, proof a little bit more before you start making pizzas. been fermenting for five hours. You could do it for longer, but I don't think you really need to at home. We're gonna roll it onto the bench. We're going to start to portion it out into smaller pieces. And it'll sort of depend on what kind of pizza you want. If you want like a big grandma style pizza, you're gonna leave the pieces a little bit bigger. If you want them to be a little like 12 inch personal margarita pizzas like we're gonna make today, you break them into smaller pieces. I'm 
gonna divide it up into two of the 12 inch sizes, and then one is going to be a bigger grandma pie. What I'm trying to do is like seal up the bottom with the board and create a ball. So I'm just using the sides of my hands to gently sort of pinch it in. As I do that, the board is helping to seal that little knot. I'm just gonna take some olive oil on my hands. And then we're just gonna put it in one of these guys and we're just gonna let that proof overnight in the refrigerator. When we want to Make pizza, we pull it out of the refrigerator, let it proof outside room temperature for like a couple hours, and then you can make pizza. The friction of the board actually helps in this process. So there you have it, the hardest part's out of the way. The dough is made. You have three pieces of dough. If you were going to make personal sizes, you'd have four. So that's what this recipe makes. You're gonna put this in the fridge and then tomorrow or the day after, you can make pizza. And um, that's what we're gonna do next time. Stay tuned for next episode. Thanks again for watching the first episode of my pizza series. Hope you tune in on Thursday where we're gonna make the pizzas. And that's gonna be fun, because what's better than pizza? So thank you so much. Hit the notification bell for reels. Make sure that you're always notified every time I release a video. And I want you to hop down in the comments and say hi and tell me what's going on. Until then, I'll see you next time. And please go feed yourself, okay?